Hello, Flat Earth researchers, debaters, and debunkers. This is a shot of the conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn on the 21st of December 2020 from Phuket in southern Thailand, near the equator. And the shot was taken between, or the shots I'm going to show you were taken between 7 and 8 p.m. on the 21st. And they are about uh, 20 to 30 degrees above the horizon at this point. And I'm going to do a couple of things here, is just show you first uh, a few more frames where we can see um, Jupiter and Saturn become more horizontally aligned from this position of observation near the equator. And then we'll compare that to uh, this conjunction seen from uh, the Netherlands. And we'll see quite a significant difference in the angle uh, that we view these two luminaries. Now, this then brings into question what that means to uh, the globe Earth or flat Earth models that uh, one might want to argue about. Um, now, bearing in mind that, that you still really cannot dictate or uh, say what the shape or the dimensions of the Earth are just by looking up at the sky, but we have to keep in mind that uh, the common consensus that we live on the outside of a rotating sphere is because of the way we see the sun, moon and the stars and the wandering stars traverse the sky depending on the location that we are in. Um, so we'll compare what we see here in Phuket with what we see in um, uh, the Netherlands and it would be great to at this point invite anyone else to contribute and we can maybe make some more videos that compare how these uh, luminaries appear uh, for different people in different locations and it would be especially interesting to see what we get if there's anyone south of the equator such as in New Zealand or Australia that can show us the viewing angle that they get. Now, of course, it's understood that the uh, planets are supposed to be gas giants and what have you, millions of miles away. And this doesn't really fit with what we can observe, considering uh, the significant difference that we're going to see. Um, because really, the, different, the difference of distance between uh, two locations on the Earth is only ever going to be a few thousand miles or kilometers, yet we see such a huge difference in the alignment or the angle at which we see these, or the, 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 the parallax even that we see these luminaries. And so um, this can really only happen if uh, we're looking at local luminaries so that would mean that they are somewhere in the region of um, hundreds or thousands of uh, miles or kilometers away they are local um, they are within for want of a better word our atmosphere because of the massive significant changes we see if you are to um, perceive that these luminaries are millions of miles away from the earth and also, of course, assume that the Earth is a so-called another planet and that um, the distance between those two luminaries that we see in the distance is also uh, millions of miles, then um, moving just a few thousand miles across the surface of the Earth should not make any difference to the way, to what we see. It really shouldn't. But um, if you bring everything down, make it local, um, you can uh, perceive and illustrate these observations as occurring on a level Earth. But again, none of this would be or could be or should be used to really dictate the shape of the Earth. Um, but in this case, I'd like to point out what is often not seen um, by comparing what we see from two different locations and allow people to consider it from for themselves whether what we're seeing is something happening very close or locally or very very far away so uh, as the evening progresses these shots are not very good they're just taken with a Sony Handycam um, but we can see that uh, as time went on we've got uh, uh, this more horizontal alignment between the luminaries and then 
we will go on to look at um, the photograph I was talking about taken from the Netherlands. Now this was taken the day before on the 20th of December but around the same time of the evening, uh, six o'clock in the evening after sunset over there. The picture is uh, by Selene Lyon and uh, we can see here Jupiter on the bottom and Saturn above it in this more vertical alignment. I think this was a uh, picture taken with an iPhone looking through a bin binoculars or a telescope. I'm not entirely sure but um, that's what we see there. This um, vertical alignment as seen from the Netherlands compared to this alignment that we see in Phuket, Thailand which is um, more of a horizontal alignment. So quite a significant difference in, in what we're seeing. Now uh, for me taking this shot in Phuket, Thailand I was looking very much to the west the sun had set, these, these luminaries were following it off to the west and uh, for Selene Leon taking this photograph I think I believe he was looking kind of more of a southwest direction but essentially we're, we're both on the, the same side of the equator so someone south of the equator will see a, a, another slightly different alignment. So what I'm also going to show you here is um, how the the moon is seen differently in uh, the Netherlands uh, compared to Phuket, Thailand. So again, uh, this is a shot taken by uh, Selene Leon on the same evening, I think, uh, of the moon. Uh, and uh, we can see that it's uh, the heading there is southwest and the moon's the crescent is there. But for me in Phuket, Thailand, I've just taken this and rotated it to show how I see it and rotated that about, um, bet I can't remember exactly, but between 40 and 50 degrees uh, to get this looking as it does for me uh, when, it, when it's gone overhead and heading off to the west. So this is what the moon looks like as it heads down from its zenith towards the western horizon for me in Phuket, Thailand. And this is how it looks uh, or did look uh, on um, a couple of evenings ago uh, from the Netherlands. So these are all things that we can consider about what does that really mean about how we are viewing uh, the luminaries. So I'll just leave you with that for now. We can uh, make that comparison, think about it yourselves, and, and then maybe hopefully we can get some more photographs from uh, other people that have taken uh, some shots and maybe even see the rings of Saturn if we're lucky and uh, see what we can uh, work out from these observations and collaboration. Thank you very much.